in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a very interesting topic that I personally found interesting. We previously have spoken about 3D and 2D animation throughout a lot of videos, but the thing is, mixing the two art styles produces a fairly new art on its own. This mixture can go either way, and what I mean by that is that you can have a fully rendered 3D scene and compose a background or a foreground for it. On the other hand, you can have a 2D animation and integrate 3D objects or models in it. One of the best examples regarding to mixing 3D and 2D is YS Finest production, Arcane. In all honesty, it was better than the game itself. Arcane was produced by a French studio called Fortiche. The production and overall quality of the series was jaw-dropping. To me, it was one of the best animations I've ever seen recently, and the main factor behind this is the purely aesthetic, eye-catching visuals that they spent 6 years to create. There was this artistic composition of 3D and 2D styles, whether it be shaders, environments, or backgrounds. It was done seamlessly in a way that submerged the viewer into the world of League of Legends. We also have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This animated movie is the one that highlighted this style recently, breaking everyone's expectations of what animation should look like nowadays. The movie confused many people whether it was 2D or 3D or both. The Spider-Verse was a full 3D animation with touches and paintings over the 3D models that evoke a feel of a 2D animation comic book. In addition to the occasional use of illustrations when pausing the movie, not to mention the excessive use of typography to simulate a comic book style. That's a very smart and unique use of both 3D and 2D. Usually the process of making a hybrid animation of 2D and 3D requires a combination of two separate software, a 3D package such as Blender, Max, Maya or Cinema 4D, and a 2D software such as TV Paint or Creta. Initially, you would start with a rough sketch for the concept visualization on paper, then jump into your favorite 3D software and start creating your environment the way you wish it to be. Later on, Preferably you would want to take a screenshot or an image render of the scene where your animation would take place and import it into your 2D software for reference and proportion's sake. Next up, you start drawing stacks of frames for your 2D animation, color it and then export it as a PNG file sequence back to the 3D software to add a 2D sequence onto planes in your scene. Then adjust the positioning and the lighting to your liking. On the other hand, we have a middle ground, for the matter using Blender. Well, Blender is a very well-known 3D package, but the software itself includes a very innovative tool that is called the Grease Pencil. This tool allows for seamless integration between 2D and 3D without the need for the constant switching between the software. This means it can do both. And there are a lot of videos you can watch about the topic to get more information about it. This video is brought to you by TrueVFX Studio, the developers behind some of the best Blender add-ons such as True Terrain and the recently released True Assets. The TrueVFX team offers a list of very helpful add-ons that help you achieve stunning results in no time. For example, their recently released True Assets helps you extract all the assets from any Blender file or directory full of HDRI images into marked asset store for future use in your projects. There's also a great tool for environment creation in Blender, which is True Terrain. It gives you control over terrain generation, topology, texture, water creation, asset scattering, and much more. They also have a list of VDB VFX elements such as True VDB Explosions, True VDB Fire, True VDB Weather, and True VDB Magic, plus the node based landscape creation tool called Nodescapes. If you are interested in one of these add ons, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.